Hello everyone, Derek Stam Toys, and we are back with another action figure review. Today we've got a pretty, what could be said as a meh figure review. I mainly got this because I kind of wanted to do a head swap with it because I saw a head swap MDT did with this figure that's inside this box. And it has me pretty excited. I'm sure you kind of notice I got a couple of figures over there. I've got this little big box up over here, and that also technically is hiding a figure or two behind it. I'm just kind of like trying to organize my table a little bit. Of course, I got the Elite Series 92 Adam Cole Chase behind the box, and the other figure that I still haven't talked about yet because I'm still fairly excited to get the rest of that set. We'll talk about that more in another video, of course, once I start to review them. But anyways, I've rambled on, uh, rambled on long enough. Why don't I get the box open? Let's see if good old dummy me can get this box open. Oh man, I, I had a I had a whole good thing going. this box open with one hand if I have to. I do not care. We are doing this all on camera. I've already started it. Might as well get this going. Boom. I'm sure you guys might have been able to tell by that little quick glance. But we have here the Elite 92 Scarlet. A lot of people do not care for this figure. Of course, definitely can see why. And just taking a good look at the box. Ooh. That's kind of gross feeling, actually. Why does that feel gross? Oh. That's neat. Well, I'm happy I have, like, picture proof, let alone video proof. You guys just watched me open that. This was delivered yesterday from Amazon. Nowhere else on the box. Definitely can tell the figure itself came up pretty messed up, and now that I see how dirty it is, I really don't want to... I really don't want to set this down. Um, uh, well, why don't we break Scarlet out of her plastic shit prison and we can start reviewing the figure. This is already going really fantastic, as you guys can see. You know, before we fully break out the Scarlet figure, I just wanted to show the inside of the box just in case I do use this as like proof to maybe get my money back in a sense because that that's really gross honestly no no action figure box should come with anything that thick in layering because like I don't know if you guys can see that maybe if I get a little bit closer you guys can see how thick that like grease or whatever the hell that is that's on there i, I don't even want to know i'm just happy my room don't be smelling like doo-doo but whatever it is it didn't come from any outside source because as you can see box is nice and clean on the outside and just a little dirty on the inside so you know whoever shipped this to me shipped it in the dirtiest dirtiest quality care possible so let's toss that over there so it doesn't get anywhere's on my bed and stuff of that nature and well let's get into this action figure review before i ramble on for another like five minutes 
Alrighty, you guys, now that we've got her out of that filthy prison, we've got quite a couple of, uh, quite a couple of accessories here. We've got two, like, slappy, clawy hands. I think one of the fingers on this one's a little warped, but you know what? That's alright. Honestly, not the biggest ordeal these fingers are so soft I'm honestly surprised like it didn't just like snap like I, I'm really shocked at how soft these hands are like you could probably just take these straight off the peg like that that shit's kind of weird feeling same thing with the like mic holding hands I guess that's good in a sense because that means she can hold the hourglass I'm assuming just fine or a or a microphone, but she's got like microphone-esque hands. They almost kind of look like AEW microphone holding hands, which is kind of funny to think about. And then you've got the hourglass. Ooh, sorry, I'm running off of no sleep here on New Year's Eve. So if you're watching this as of uploading, Happy New Year's. Might as well state that now. But yeah, we've got this cool little hourglass accessory you know it, it's got a lot of nice little detail to it also just very plain Jane at the same time when I say a lot of nice detail I mean mainly like the glass and stuff you know it it all looks nice and comes together pretty well but all in all why don't we get a set of hands plugged into the scarlet figure and we can kind of go over the scarlet herself shall we Alrighty, now first things first, now that we've got a set of hands plugged into her, we're going to talk about this head sculpt and why a lot of people don't seem to like it. Because, you know, looking at it in person, I can still see why people don't like it. After all, in my opinion, it doesn't really look like Scarlet all that well. Like, from certain angles, it kind of does. But... Like, if you showed me this figure like this and asked me, do you know who that is? I'd say no. Hair's pretty cool, though, but no. Have no clue who this is. That could have been, uh, I don't know, random pop star from the early 2000s, insert name here, but blonde. Um, Britney Spears, there we go, there's one. Anyway... You know, like, it just doesn't look in particular like Scarlet. So, I could see why some people may not like it. Though the hair sculpt and, you know, the little crown is actually a really cool mold itself. Just sad to see it kind of get used up on such a iffy head sculpt. You know what I mean? But coming down into the attire itself, she's got a black, like, leotard, singlet-esque attire. I, I don't know what you would exactly call this, but she's also got a bunch of spikes that come out of here. Like, there's how many in the back? Four of them. Then there's one popping out of the shoulder, two popping out of the abdomen, and, like, five just chilling right there in the front of the shoulder you know simple plain black all around you can see the pantyhose design you can actually see I think where she has a little tear in the pantyhose which is kind of a weird detail to include unless that's just a glitch on the decal end and they just didn't feel like trying to patch it up I don't know, if it was meant to be, that's a cool detail, if not, well, it tricked me, Mattel. Anyways, and my only big gripe with this figure, the heel boots. Especially on these lower legs, these boots just do not have the best, the best, I, I, I don't know, the best support for standing. And, you know, when it comes to action figures and figures you may want to use for a pick fed, that, that's kind of an issue. But I want to say the basic Scarlet that I have that I will be head swapping this with also has that issue. So, you win some, you lose some. At least this one has calf rotation and 
I can do a bunch more because it's technically an elite and not just a basic. And you know, getting into that just because she's a woman's figure, we don't tend to see women's figures on here too often. She can look down about that high. She can look up about normal because of her hair and possibly the spikes. I don't know, may maybe it's just me. No, it's not just me. Anyways, of course she's got shoulder articulation, upper arm rotation, or bicep rotation, whatever you want to call it. Of course, got a double bend in the elbow, wrist bend, and wrist swivel. Of course, the ab crunch is kind of non-existent when it comes to the women's figures. You don't really get too much there, but you do kind of get like the... I was about to say, I don't know if it's going to show, but there you go. You get like a little bit of waist rock. And of course, I was about to say if I can get it to go without breaking the figure. She's got waist rotation, upper thigh rotation. She can kick up about, well, we'll say about that high. That That's a pretty decent kick for a figure that probably isn't really meant to have that much articulation in the legs anyway. She's of course got a double bend in the knee. What would normally be considered kick pad rotation and ankle movement. But we're not going to play around with the ankle because it's already hard enough for this chick to stand. God forbid. And see what I mean? See, see what I mean? Anywho, why don't I get her all like propped up? And we can give our final thoughts about Scarlet, shall we? Alrighty, now that we've got the Scarlet posed up with the carrying cross and the other Scarlet, what can I really say about this figure? Well, you know, it actually doesn't pose too bad for a women's figure. And I say it like that just normally because the women's figures don't always have the best ankle articulation as they tend to use the basic boots for, you know, both women's basics and elites, in a sense. But they still give it the ankle, like, the ankle bend. It's weird. It's just weird how it feels, but you can definitely tell that's kind of what the issue is. Other than that, the head scope doesn't really look too much like her, but that's why we've got the basics, so then if I really want to... I can head swap it, see if I like it, see if I dig the feeling of it. And if I don't like how the other head sits on the new Elite, honestly, after playing around with it for a little bit, that head sculpt doesn't really bug me the worst. Like, I I've seen plenty, and I mean plenty, of terrible, terrible, and I mean absolutely God awful head sculpts. We won't mention any names. But we we've seen some pretty horrendous head sculpts around here. And you know, that wasn't even the worst one that I can name off the top of my head. He just so happened to be laying out. Anywho My final thoughts. You know, it, if you get it for cheap can't say I blame you. Hopefully yours doesn't come in like mine did because I definitely would ask for my money back and then some. Um, other than that though, the figure itself, I'm going to say it's probably like a good 6 out of six out of 10. Maybe a good solid 3 out of 5 stars and I only put it like that just because the ankles aren't really the best. It's kind of just a plain Jane and basic figure, in a sense, you know what I mean? And there's not really a whole, like a whole lot that comes with her. Like, I get it, yes, she's just a manager. But, like, she, she kind of have come with maybe, like, an extra head sculpt. Or maybe you give us two head sculpts with an interchangeable crown. Instead of having to mold the crown onto each head sculpt. I don't know, but either way, I think 
that's where we're going to leave this here, you know. Not the worst figure, not the best figure, but overall, it'll probably be a figure you might end up seeing in the pick fed at some point or another. And with that being said, if you liked the video, feel free to like the video. If you didn't, you know, that's alright. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go cry about it at night when I go to bed. But if you did like the video, feel free to go check out some of my other action figure reviews and or pick fed content. I just posted my last pick fed episode. What was it? Maybe about, I want to say about like, five days ago now maybe maybe a little bit more than that I, i'm not exactly too sure uh, oh yeah actually no it's been almost a week now anywho um kind of lost track of what i was saying yeah either way when it comes to the pick fed content and stuff of that nature we do tend to keep playlists of it down below or, well, not necessarily down below, like, in the description, but down below in our channel page. And, yeah, you know, if you did like the video, feel free to subscribe. After all, it is free to subscribe. And the day YouTube starts charging, I'm probably going to quit. And, yeah, besides following me on Instagram, of course, under the same name... I don't really have anything else to say. I think I finally got through it all without having a brain fart towards the end. So, yeah, have a good rest of your night. Happy New Year, everyone. And, you know, hopefully we will see you guys plenty fold in 2024. Peace out, yo.